Hey Scrappers, it's Tom from iScrap and we want to bring you another tip on how you can make more money with your scrap from the eyes and the viewpoint of a scrapyard. Now here I am with a nice box of copper. Please wipe the drool from your lips. We know that it's probably falling. And you're saying, Tom, we're going to scrap this. We want to strip this and make it into Bear Bright. Now many of you would, but at a scrapyard there are different grades that just aren't worth the time, especially when you're busy, to be able to separate it and strip it. Here's a perfect example of grounding cable. We had cut this grounding cable, you can see it was cut in half by the shear, because we wanted to be able to strip it. One reason that we didn't was when we were putting it through our commercial grade wire stripper, it was almost cutting the copper and creating a sharper uh, piece on the end which created an unhealthy working environment, unsafe working environment for our team members. Now when you have nice grades of cable like this you're going to have THHN also that's going to be mixed in and this is where you want to start to sort and separate these things a little differently. Do we think that this is worth stripping at a scrap yard? No, but as a scrapper with a smaller machine that isn't going to jam as much you might want to be able to use something like a strip meister wire stripper or a an, an smaller type that gives you the ability to pull it off with a really fine blade. So if you're looking for any other ideas, questions on how to make more money or what the scrapyard does versus what you might do at home, ask us. But when you see different grades like this, it's not always going to be something that's going to get stripped at a scrapyard and it might surprise you, but we're trying to share the perspective from a scrapyard versus from a scrapper. Guys, any other tips, tricks, or ideas you want us to talk about, just let us know. Until next time, I'll scrap you later.